Hi everyone, I'm Sabrina. At Lollicup, we're always looking for delicious recipes you guys can make using products found all over Lollicup store. Today, I've got not one, not two, but three delicious caramel apple recipes. We're gonna be using a caramel sauce. Caramel sauce is actually very versatile to use in desserts and non-coffee drinks. Some of the most commonly used caramel sauce brands include Hollander, Da Vinci, Torani, 1883, and Ghirardelli. I'm gonna be walking you through how to use that caramel sauce and incorporate it in a couple different recipes and another beverage. So why don't we go ahead and follow along right now. The ingredients you'll need, brown sugar, old-fashioned rolled oats, all-purpose flour, cold cubed butter, cinnamon, vanilla extract, salt, about two pounds of Granny Smith apples, and of course, your caramel sauce. So to start, we're gonna first preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Then we're gonna make our topping first. The full ingredient measurements are gonna be in the description down below, so you can take a look if you wanna follow along. So first, a large bowl, we're gonna add in our brown sugar, our flour, the cinnamon, the vanilla extract, and salt. Now you're going to pour in your cubed cold butter. And I'm gonna put on some gloves for this one because it's gonna get a little messy. We are going to squish the butter in with the dry ingredients so that we can create that crumble. I'm gonna just squish, squish. I'm trying to get the dry ingredients fully covered in that butter so that uh, when I do put in my rolled oats, I'm just gonna barely stir that in. I just wanna make sure this is well incorporated. Uh, you basically want it to be crumbly, chunky, uh, big pieces. Now I take my rolled oats, put that in there, and I'm gonna grab a spatula and just fold that in. Okay, so I am making sure that the uh, chunks of butter are sticking to the oats. That is pretty much it for the topping. What I'm gonna do is put this bowl into the refrigerator while I do the filling, just so that we can keep it uh, hard and crumbly uh, when we're ready to assemble. Now we're gonna do our filling. So the next thing that we're gonna do for our apple crisp is we are gonna make a filling. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna peel and then cube up your apples. You're just going to take your peeler and peel all the apple skin off. If you're able to cut this all in one strip, please uh, take a picture and tag at Lolly Cup Store because I'd love to see your one strand of apple skin uh, from your peeling off, off, okay. So we've got that off. Now what you're gonna wanna do is cut your apple into cubes. The way that we're gonna do that is cut down, then the other side. Then I lay that down and I'm gonna cut a, uh, on the side of the core. So then there we go. And then we want some small medium cubes because our, we're gonna put them in the ramekins and it also helps to cook a little bit faster. So after I cut that in half, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop down. And so then you have cubes about that size. I already cut up a few already, so I'm gonna add these into my batch. That's about my two pounds of apples. So we are going to add our caramel sauce. So I have that in my squeeze bottle and I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle it over. Now I did put a measurement in there. I'm actually eyeballing it right now because I like caramel. I'm gonna grab my spatula and then I'm gonna give it a good toss. Make sure that the apples are well coated. Each apple needs a little bit of caramel love. So now that we have these tossed, we are gonna go ahead and grab our crumble from the refrigerator and start assembling the crisps. So we made our filling, we made our topping, now it's time to put it all together. What you're going to need are some ramekins, but we do have those listed in the description down below so you can get yours and follow along. We are going to start with our caramel apple filling. So I'm gonna line up our ramekins here. 
And then I'm going to just start spooning in the filling in each of the ramekins. The goal is to just make sure that they're evenly filled. There isn't really a measurement for each. Alrighty, got my apples. Let's put a little. So you might have some of the liquid um, fall to the bottom of your container where you had the apples. You, you don't want that liquid in there, so you can just um, make sure, you, that's why you don't wanna dump it all in. You might wanna spoon it in to your ramekins because the goal is to, uh, when we put it in the oven, to take out that moisture. Here we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your crumble topping. So it's pretty dry right now and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. It's okay if you make a mess. Um, I always make a mess in the kitchen, but as long as you get most of this deliciousness on top, you're fine. Use everything you got. Cover up those apples. So there we have it. We have our ramekins filled uh, with our apple filling and our strudel. Now we're gonna pop these into the oven for 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your type of oven. So just check on them and, uh, and then you'll have some delicious apple crisp. And there you have it, a caramel apple crisp with just a few ingredients and of course the star of our show, our caramel sauce. So what you can do is top this with some ice cream and then drizzle some more sauce in it, or uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it without and just drizzle and squeeze. There we go. Yum. Give some love to this one. So now let's go ahead and dive in and give it a try. Ooh, the caramel and the apples. You see that? Delicious. It's just like an apple pie, open faced apple pie. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. I'm so good I'm laughing. Uh, it, I just, yeah, one more. How do I describe it? The sweetness of the apple and the caramel, and then you have the little crunchiness of the rolled oats with the crumbly butter. It just, it's just perfection. It's just perfection. We're going to move on to the next recipe, and then I'm going to um, just take a few more bites of this before we do and then just make sure to check the ingredients down below if you want to follow along. So let's move on to the next one. The next recipe we're gonna make is something that you can enjoy and share with friends and family while watching a movie and sitting at home. We're gonna make caramel apple nachos. So you know traditional nachos with the tortilla chips and you just pile on all that delicious cheese and jalapenos. Well, same concept except with sweets. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up some apples and then we're gonna drizzle on our caramel sauce and our chocolate sauce. Then any caramel apple has to have some chopped peanuts. And we're just gonna get a little extra with some chocolate chips as well. So uh, we went ahead and we did a Granny Smith and a Gala apple or you can do red apple or pink apple, any other color, just so that it kind of pops against each other. And we're just gonna cut slices. Now that we sliced up all our apples, we've got a beautiful colors of the red and the green. So we are gonna lay them out on a plate. I'm gonna do an alternating of red, green, red, green. And I'm just gonna put them around my plate, all over the place. I actually got a much bigger plate than my apples. So we're just going to throw these down a little bit here. So we got some nice patterns going on. Then I'm just gonna start tossing that on. So what's very important is that you actually do lay them out uh, evenly because when you do drizzle on and sprinkle on all the toppings, you wanna make sure that every time somebody grabs an apple slice, it is covered in the topping. I've always hate that with uh, regular nachos, everyone will grab the ones on the top and then by the time you get to the chips at the bottom, there's no cheese left, there's no sour cream left. So let's not make that mistake on this one. And I also wanna make sure that 
it is also pretty because you eat with your eyes. So I am making sure that I get a good spread. We could see the pop of red in the sea of green. Very festive colors over here. So I've got a really large plate, so I'm making sure to cover it all up. If you do have a smaller plate, you're gonna be stacking a little bit, but I would dagger uh, the apple slices, like I said, to make sure that everything is well covered and everything gets a chance to get some caramel sauce on it. Bam. Now for the fun part. Now if you have kids, I would highly encourage you to let them do this part because it's just fun. This is the time you get to play with your food. So I'm gonna take my caramel sauce and I am going to just go in a circular motion and drizzle everywhere. Big, big, big. There. Now, we're gonna grab our chocolate sauce and just give it a drizzle that way. Yeah. Yummy. Then, I'm gonna take my peanuts. Whoop, give it a sprinkle all over. Then, some chocolate chips. You can actually go any topping you want. Mini marshmallows is a good one. Crushed almonds if you don't want to do the peanuts. Uh, uh, you can do white chocolate sauce instead of the regular chocolate. It's so great, this recipe, because you can personalize it to whatever you like. I actually love chocolate and caramel apples. That's what I'm going for. And that's it, we're done. We have our delicious caramel apple nachos. The final recipe we're gonna make is a hot caramel apple cider. Perfect to drink along with your apple crisp or your apple nachos. What you're gonna need is a sauce pot. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna get some apple cider, pour that in. Then we're gonna take our caramel sauce and I'm gonna squeeze a generous amount in there. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract and I'm gonna give it a good stir. Uh, we put it on the heat so that we could dilute that caramel sauce. Because it is thicker, it's gonna take a lot of heat to break that up as opposed to just doing a cold cider and putting that caramel in. If you were doing cold, you'd probably go with a caramel syrup, uh, but doing it hot, it's that's why you're gonna want the caramel sauce. It doesn't take much to get that, if you have it on the stove top, to get that caramel sauce diluted. So it looks like we're good to go. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna get my serving glass and I'm gonna pour it in. I'm not very good at this, so uh, hopefully I don't spill too much. Here we go, ready? Woo! Yes! Nailed it. Now, you can drink it as is, but we're not here to do things halfway. We're gonna go extra. We are going to put some whipped topping on top. Here we go. Oh, come on, work with me here. Get some whipped topping. I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna shake. I'm not giving up that easy, you guys. We are going to get whipped cream on our hot apple cider, even, oh. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, I'll take it, we got it. Now, we're gonna top off caramel sauce and give it a good drizzle. There we go, all right, yum. And there we go, we have our delicious hot caramel apple cider topped with a little bit of whipped cream and caramel drizzle. And there you have it, our three caramel apple recipes. Despite a little hiccup on our drink, we do have our hot caramel apple cider, our caramel apple nachos, and our caramel apple crisp all ready to enjoy. If you guys wanna make these recipes at home, be sure to pick up some caramel sauce and you'll get the ingredients and all the items that we use in the description down below. So check that out. If you like these recipes and wanna see more, there are dozens of other recipe videos on our channel. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell to find out when, whenever we post a new video. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, bye. Caramel sauce to make so many other ingredients. And products found all over Lollicup.
and I too. Damn it. Okay. Caramel apple cider. And uh, can we redo that? Because I messed up the name of the drink. Thank you. Caramel apple sauce. Excuse me. Our apple sauce. Ooh. Our caramel sauce. What am I thinking? I'm thinking caramel apple. That's why.